Okay, what's good? How's your day been? Dokkan has released a ton of units over its lifespan, some of which have aged like a fine wine. Today, we'll be looking at the 10 best ones. As always, remember to keep in mind that these lists are, of course, carefully calculated through an intense algorithm. And let's get started. And coming in at number 10, we got... AGL UI Goku, the most noble and supreme form in all the universe, whose radiant glow places him at the pinnacle of all beings in existence. The truly transcendent one, the one above all. Now, the reason AGL UI Goku gets a spot on this list is because of his 70% chance to dodge. UI Goku came out during the sick year anniversary, all the way back in January of 2021, and was pretty much always a very solid option. As long as the enemy could be dodged, UI Goku had a 70% chance of taking zero damage, which of course is a very, very strong. He also had a revive, but admittedly, that was pretty rare. Now, even especially after his easy A, he's just going to age even better because now he has a 77% chance to dodge enemy attack and he gets further dodge chance each time he dodges the enemy. He also further builds up defense more than the 30% buff that he usually got prior to his easy A. Alongside his revival condition being changed to just being under 77% HP now, it's pretty safe to say that AGL UI Goku will probably age very gracefully. He also has multiple instances of guaranteed dodge for the turn in his first turn on his or after reviving and of course his first turn appearing. He is just going to age very gracefully and of course UI Goku is just one of if not the best dodgers in all of the game's history. He'll pretty much always be a safe option to run as long as the enemy can be dodged and for that UI Goku will get number 10 on this list. Moving on to number 9. Coming in at number 9, we have AGL Super Vegito. Now, AGL Super Vegito makes this list because he has a whopping 80% damage reduction against normal attacks. And he also counters, but the counters aren't really the main important part as he doesn't really do that much damage. What's important is the 80% damage reduction. The 80% damage reduction allowed this guy to basically not take damage from normals, from normals, from like this guy's release all the way up to like red zone. He was insanely good and honestly very underrated for the period of his lifespan after he exited his prime. While his easy A was relatively underwhelming, the stat boost that it gave him alongside the minor attack and defense buff made him age relatively solid, although not quite as good as his pre-easy A version. Overall, AGL Super Vegito's super high damage reduction nets him number 9 on this list. Now coming in at number 8, we have the year 3 anniversary LRs in L LR Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta and LR Super Saiyan Angel Goku and Angel Super Saiyan Vegeta. On release, they were of course great anniversary units or pretty much always the best units in the game on release, but they ate very gracefully for multiple years. They were still relatively solid up until the 50th anniversary and they were decently middling up until their eventual easy a's during the seventh anniversary now prior to easy a their base forms weren't amazing they didn't really have any good super attack effects they actually had no 12 key super attack effect but was really the game changer was their fusion condition which for both was they can fuse when hp is 57 percent or below starting from the sixth turn in bat and although it was a very hard condition to activate when you did activate it it was very well worth it. Prior to EZA, they got a fully HP recovery. Dogeta was super effective against all types and Vegito countered, leading him to do a lot of damage. So much so to the point that when STR Super Vegito came out, they were doing relatively similar amounts of damage. They both had pretty good defense and they had both pretty good damage as well. While unfortunately their EZAs did not age very well, they were still both pretty decent on release. The year 3 LRs are good enough for number 8 on this list. Coming in at number 7, it's uh, 
of course. LR Orange Piccolo. Feels like we have to talk about him every goddamn list. He's pretty much been a top 10 unit in the game for his entire lifespan up to this point. He's got a very good super attack effect, giving himself 50% defense on both 12 and 18 key super attacks. He's got a pretty solid leader skill. Superheroes is the best team in the game right now. Battle of Wits isn't bad either. He's got a strong intro animation, giving him 100% attack and defense and guard for three turns. A another master with another bond of master and disciple category ally on the team. He has the AG, he has the Int LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan key mechanic. He gets a baseline 20% damage reduction. He builds up attack and defense up to 150%. He gives all allies two key after getting hit. And then he has a very powerful effect once he falls under 30% AP and receives seven or more attacks in which he will fully recover your HP and get an additional 30% damage reduction. But of course, what puts LR Orange Piccolo on the list is his very powerful active skill, Giant Form, which can be activated when all allies in the same turn are superheroes, starting from the third turn of battle, or on turn six when there's only one enemy. While his links aren't super powerful, he is on a giant plethora of categories. And of course, his Giant Form just says no to everything the enemy ever wants to do. No super attack, no AoEs, no healing, no nothing. You also can't take damage and it's essentially free damage. Again, LR Orange Piccolo is a very, very good unit and the giant form is just one of the strongest, if not the single strongest ability in the entire game, which of course will net him number seven on this list. Moving on to number six. Now coming in at number six, it's STR Gamma One, releasing all the way back in October of 2022. STR Gamma One is still a good option to this day. He leads a solid team in Movie Heroes and Artificial Life Form. He's got a solid super attack effect that gives him 30% attack and defense for the turn. He has guaranteed guard for four turns and he also builds up 50% damage reduction alongside 100% attack and defense each time he gets hit. He also supports all allies with one key and 30% defense and he has a 70% chance of nullifying unarmed enemy super attacks and he can counter them. He also has a very powerful links, especially in conjunction with another unit, LR Int Gamma 1 and 2, who came out for the ninth year anniversary. Link alongside the LR Gammas, Gamma 1 really pops off and looks very impressive. The LR Gammas kind of gave Gamma 1 a second wind, as the Gammas were kind of on their way out of the meta until the Gammas released, and of course the Gammas being one of the best units in the game, shot up value of str gamma one who is a solid slot one option especially while he has his guard but that's str gamma he comes in at number six moving on to number five and at number five we have agl super 17 the best aging 120 percent easy a now Super 17 got his EZA all the way back in August of 2020, and he was still very runnable during Red Zone. He even outstripped his LR counterpart, the LR Tech Super 17, one of the worst design units in the game's history, by the way. Super 17 had a pretty decent super attack effect, giving him 50% attack and defense for the turn. Super 17 also had a baseline 40% damage reduction, and then built up 30% more damage reduction alongside three key and 150% attack each time he was hit. And he also gave target car, target Goku category allies 17% chance to crit, but that's not really all that important. Linked alongside a very powerful Android unit, this guy could shine. And he was essential to the Android team that dominated the early meta of the red zone, especially on AGL transforming cells team. This guy was insanely good on that team, and he could tank AGL full power Broly for some pretty manageable damage. He was very, very, very impressive, and it's good enough for number five on my list. Coming in at number four, we got the Easy A, who is the best Easy A in the game for like two years straight. It's Ink Janemba. Now, it basically wasn't a question who you're going to pick up with your redstone during Ink Janemba's prime. This man had guard, good damage chances to dodge, and then a dominant link set on top of it. His only real weakness was that he didn't have very many category teams he fit on, but he was a monster. And Janemba in his prime was, oh man, dude, he was just bonkers. 
It was so good that arguably STR Janemba, who released a practical like two years later, he was very comparable to and I believe out damaged him, which is just stunning. To be in contention with a unit who has released two years after you, I mean, you just know that you're one of the best aging units in the game's history. Now, coming in at number three, we got two units actually who do a pretty similar thing, and that is Tech God Goku and Tech Alifla. Yeah, Tech Cauliflower. Now, what they essentially do is make you impenetrable and invulnerable to damage against certain enemies. Khalifla has guaranteed dodge against Universal Survival Saga and Pure Saiyan enemies, and Heck God Goku has 77% damage reduction against movie bosses and Pure Saiyan enemies. Now, Tech God Goku is not invincible anymore recently. You know, he can get slapped up by Cell Max, but he is still a good option. His super attack effect raises his defense for the turn and also seals, which is a good super attack effect. He also creates rainbow key spheres, which is good, especially on a team like the superhero team which is the best team in the game currently he gets a further 77 percent attack and defense when collecting two or more rainbow key spheres and he has a great link set as he has both over in a flash and prepared for battle tech khalifla g stacks get a lot of chances to dodge with universe six or peppy gals allies on the team guaranteed dodge against universal survival saga or Persane enemies and after her easy a she also gives all allies 16 percent attack for two turns when she dodges 16 times if your team is full universe six and also does a guaranteed additional super attack if there is a kale attacking in the same overall these are two really good defensive units who have just been great additions to teams and have both aged very gracefully now coming in at number two we have three units int hercule agl golden frieza and str super saiyan 3 vegeta Essentially, these cards all do pretty similar things, and that's just tank very well. But they've both, or all three, have done it for longer than God Goku and Khalifa have, which I believe solidifies them a spot higher on this list. Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta has a 50% chance to stun on his super attack effect, and 80% damage reduction for 10 turns from the start of battle, or, well, his first appearance. And essentially, he just tanks very well. AGL Golden Frieza has 90% damage reduction reduction when HP is 40% or more, which was buffed after he got his EZA, because prior to his EZA, it was 50% or more for the 90% damage reduction. Int Hercule, prior to his EZA, had a 50% chance to dodge and reduced damage received from 50 to 90% depending on your HP remaining, in which the less HP you had, the more damage reduction you got. And after his EZA, he's even better as he gets attack and defense 50% on his super attack effect alongside 150% attack and defense for performing a super attack and then 50% attack and defense for Boo Saga category ally attacking in the same turn and a potential 60% chance to dodge if HP is 50% or more. Essentially what these guys do is they just don't take damage in the right conditions and they all do it pretty well at least for their respective eras. While super high damage reduction probably won't cut it in today's meta you need defense actually but for the long this time this super high damage reduction was all you need and i believe solidifies these three as the number two spot now before we go on to number one i have some honorable mention first up we have heck android 17 and 18 who are pretty solid and were designed very well parts of their kit that have aged very well is the ability to nullify key blast super attack if they're above 35 percent hp and of course their active skill which can essentially be activated as long as you're not facing two enemies you can activate it when there's only one enemy if their hp is 35 percent or more or just when facing three or more enemies and then it would give you a ghost usher and just delay the enemy's attack for the turn next we have agl pycon who essentially does the same thing with a rainbow key sphere he gets a 50 percent chance to dodge and his active skill condition also is a ghost usher which can be used if the enemy has 50 percent hp or more on turn four next we got tech janemba who was a very solid defensive option for a long time honestly he was very slept on because 
because that New Year celebration of New Year celebration of 2020 going into 2021, it was just a weird celebration, right? It wasn't super hype despite it being Fusion Reborn because there was no Gogeta. The unit super attack does not count. But overall, Janemba, he was just very tanky with his damage reduction that he got with multiple rainbow key spheres and his guard plus his decent defense. Honestly, you'd rarely ever transform with the guy, but he didn't really need to transform. He was very solid defensively. Next, we got AGL LR Gohan, who was a very good stacker for a long time. He came out really in the prime of the every unit needs to stack meta, and he was a very, very good stacker. One of the best in the entire game. Speaking of stackers, next is LR, Kale, and Khalifla, who were just dominant for a long time and were pretty solid for a good bit after they stopped being the best unit in the game due to having powerful stacking on both of their super attack effects, getting dodge chance up to 66% in their passive, and doing multiple guaranteed additional supers against Universal Survival Saga or Pure Saiyan enemies. Next is a super underrated guy, and that's LR Bojack. I think people really don't know how slept on this guy was. When STR Bojack came out and they had a legitimate linking partner that could activate super powerful links like Galactic Warriors, Big Bad Bosses, and Thirst for Conquest, you really got to see this guy's power shine and he was amazing. He'd pop out doing like 6 million attack stats with really good defense. Keep in mind that this was like a full three years after his release and he was just stunning. Next, we got LR Vegeta Blue, who for a like a year and a half period was the best free to play unit in the game. He was very well designed for his time. LRB Pan, who similar to LR Vegito Blue, was a very well designed LR after her EZA. Powerful active skill, solid links. And the last honorable mention is probably just one of the most underrated units in the game, and that's Ain't Yamcha. This guy's damage is very good. He's got high chance to dodge, 50% built into his kit, and then builds up more dodge chance with each super attack. He's got many built in additionals. He does really good damage, pretty good defense, dodge, has a solid active skill, and is overall still pretty solid right now. But coming in at number one, you already know I, the algorithm pushes its agenda. It is Tech Ultimate Gohan the best aging unit in the game's history who got his easy a recently and will be the best aging unit again now what hasn't really been said about this guy you know guard plus greatly stacking equals really good greatly raising attack and defense 50 percent buff guaranteed guard prior to his easy a there was really no need to transform his damage wasn't all that impressive in his transformation ultimate gohan state i mean it was solid damage but it wasn't anything to go crazy over and you could just continue building up with this guy to be immensely powerful. I mean, this guy was like top 20 two years after his release. It was insane. I mean, we all know the meme, man. I've seen enough. Heck, Ultimate Gohan is better. You read like a brand new TUR's kit and nope, nope, nope. I've seen enough. Heck, Ultimate Gohan, he's better. He's just better. He also led a very underrated team in the Saviors and Hybrid Saiyan category team, which could take down Super Tech Extreme Super Battle Road. He was good in short events because he had guard. He was good in long events because he greatly stacked. Plus, he had guard. And now with his EZA, they gave him the one thing that he really needed, which was built-in additionals. And they didn't give him just one. They gave him two 70% chances to launch an additional super attack, which just was bonkers. His damage gets up there and can be pretty impressive deeper in fights in his base form and in his transformation is very good. He's got damage reduction for his first turn to kind of mitigate his weaker turn one. I mean, overall, he's just very, very, very good. And he's an insane unit worthy of number one on this list. But that's the list. Let me know what you thought of my list down below. If you thought anybody was snubbed off the list or if you think the order should have been different, let me know if you have any suggestions for future top tens. As always, thank you for watching. That's going to do it for me. Thanks for stopping by.